Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mark. I'm bringing a uh, video about the CBJMS. Uh, some of you, some of you guys, uh, I've noticed don't really give the CBJ a chance. You guys just see it like as a normal, whatever kind of submachine gun. So, uh, I'm here to kind of like briefly tell you guys how why you should give it like a chance or a second chance for some of you guys that may have given up on this gun already. Because I've I've received a few questions on oh how do you use a CBJ because yeah if, this is kind of like one of my favorite weapons everyone asks how it's your favorite weapon everyone asks why do you use that gun how do you use it well well here in this video I'm gonna briefly describe it uh, first and foremost uh, if you have good accuracy this gun shouldn't really be such a hard time to really get used to using uh, if you don't have the best accuracy in the world don't worry you can always use foregrip. But um, after using this gun for a really long time, it's all about like whether you like the sights or not. Um, so yeah, uh, extended mag is also a must-have for this gun for situations like this. I'm left with one bullet. Without extended mags, I would have most likely been dead, and I would have been able to get that triple piece. So yeah. Um, uh, as I was saying though, if you don't have the best accuracy in the world, I'd also recommend uh, using red dot sight. Because you might also not like the sights, or the sights might just be too hard to use because they are kind of small, to be honest. So yeah. Um, on the bright side, this gun uh, is extremely powerful in close range. It's about a three shot kill in close range, I believe, if I'm correct. And there you can see my class loadout. If you want, you can pause it and look at it for a few seconds so you can see what I use. Um, it, it's, this gun is really strong in close range, as you can see right there. I killed them very briefly, it's the same with this guy didn't really take that long to really kill in close range it's almost like a shotgun but um it, it kills fast also because of the nice fire rate and on top of that this gun uses uh, armor piercing bullets so if the person you're about to shoot has a uh, let's say a ballistic vest the bullets will go right through them without worrying about the ballistic vest and on top of that you won't have to worry about spending another point on armor piercing bullets which is another extra which makes this gun pretty good to use Another recommendation would also be that um, you use focus for this gun because um, when you're in a gunfight with the CBJ, uh, if someone shoots you first or you're in a gunfight and you just get shot, um, you will flinch a lot because uh, I guess it's just because it's a submachine gun or maybe Infinity War just wants to troll, but uh, you flinch a lot when you have the CBJ without focus, so yeah, I just recommend that. Um, the CBJ does have low range, so a lot of people would actually recommend using muzzle brake, but I digress. I've been using silencer on the CBJ for the longest, and I didn't really, I never really had a problem with range. If I ever had to shoot somebody at long range, I'd just burst fire, and I'd kill them almost about the same time as a person with muzzle brake would. So yeah, that's just my own personal opinion. If you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments below. Um, like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.